It was so quiet during lockdown that we can actually hear the birds singing again. And speaking of nature, there's a lot we can learn from it. To tell us more about natural sound absorption of moths and bats is Dr. Mark Holderreed. So, moths and bats are able to fly stealthily. Why are they so quiet? So it's all about this acoustic arms race that's going on where moths try to avoid being eaten by a bat, becoming a bat's next midnight snack. Um, and they do so by reducing the echoes that give away their presence to the bat's echolocation system. So being stealthy, producing weak echoes, is clearly a big advantage for these moths because then they don't show up as strongly on a bat's biosonar. Now, what is the Physics of Life grant and how difficult is it to get funding for biological acoustics? Well, getting funding of the magnitude that we got out of the Physics of Life grant is, is not an everyday um, success story. So the Physics of Life grant is very special because it does exactly what we believe uh, we can contribute to. So the, the physics of life is, and I'm quoting from their mission statement here, they, they want to support internationally leading research that requires collaborative interdisciplinary working to address key challenges at the interface of physics and life sciences. Um, and we believe we are at this interface. We believe that the moth wings can tell us a lot about how to manipulate sound in very fancy and very advanced ways. And the way we think that we can contribute to our quality of life is that these moth wings are so much thinner relative to the wavelength and the sound manipulation they can do than anything we can do with technological sound absorbers that by understanding how evolution has made these moth wings so remarkable, so remarkably efficient, we can design new and better sound absorbers for our homes and offices. And that's what this whole aspect of the physics of life is all about. Thank you, Mark, from Bristol University.